All right, good morning. It is a Sunday morning and I am getting ready to go to the farmer's market and I wanted to bring you guys along to show you how we sell at the farmer's market. All right, so I am going to be driving my 20 year old car here and I have the back seat folded down because it's just a Volkswagen Beetle and the van will stay here. Um, I drive the van anytime I go out of town. Uh, this car here, it's not real reliable. It kind of misses and sputters and has a lot of other problems uh, because it is 20 years old. I only drive it around town. And uh, going to the farmer's market here, we're going to be going up about another thousand feet into the mountain, about 10 miles from here. That's the farthest I drive this car because I don't trust it. <sighs> And in order to open the trunk, I gotta have two hands because I gotta do this and pull this. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, got the back seat folded down, got some chairs and our market table. I'm gonna go get my supplies. All right, there we go. I have just one crate of stuff that I take as a jewelry and arts and crafts and a little bit of lip balm some things that I do that are small and don't take up a whole lot of space so you know it's mainly like arts and crafts that I sell at the farmers market but it's definitely something you can do in your RV or your van where it's small spaces whatever you like to do I saw a lady that was making baskets so she could do that in a small space and then she hangs out in the mountains in the summer and she can sell places in the summer um, about an hour from here down in the valley where it's a lot warmer. Uh, they have a farmer's market that goes year round or another one that goes into November. So you could uh, do that as a good option to make money while you're on the road. You just maybe have to uh, plan ahead. And uh, like I said, I just have one, one crate for my stuff and uh, it doesn't take up a tremendous amount of space. All right, let's get ready to go. So uh, this car I've had for several years, it hasn't always been running. It is a sentimental car, and let me explain what that means. Uh, this was the last car that my grandpa, that you've seen in past videos with my tribute to him when he died when he was 100, uh, this was the last car that he drove and owned uh, before he lost his eyesight in his 80s. Uh, he had a retina bleed, and he wasn't completely blind, but he was legally blind, couldn't drive anymore. So this was his last car, besides his Model A, last car that he owned. And then after he couldn't drive anymore, my cousin got it, and that was this, this was the last car that my cousin drove, and my cousin died of uh, an asthma attack, and um, I bought the car after that. So it is a sentimental car. Um, it's small, it's not very reliable, I only drive it in town, but uh, because of those things, I'm still, I still have it, but, uh... Oh, look, it's got a tape player. Awesome! <laughs> There's my flowers. All right. The car made it another 10 miles, made it up to 7,500 feet in elevation. We were at the market. We're going to go set up. This market I really like. It's pretty low key. Uh, it's not like a big rat race to get there real super early. It doesn't start till 10. And it's on a Sunday, which most of them are always on Saturday. So this gives you an opportunity to do more than one market.
What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> So that is it for our trip to the farmer's market. We had another successful day. The weather is always great and sunny. Um, we had shade most of the time, got out in the sun for a little bit, but uh, overall pretty good day. So as you can see, there is a variety of things that you could sell at a farmer's market. It takes one day a week and then in your free time during the rest of the week, you could be making more inventory and uh, you can just kind of go and check out some farmer's markets, see what's there and what isn't, what you like to do, and uh, see if it's something that's an option.